seven minutes to give you a speech. They should use sources and it should be organized. When it comes to taking a stance on world issues, the youth are often overlooked. However, at Everglades High School's speech and debate tournament, students are given a chance to speak their minds and educate each other. Coach speech and debate for many reasons. One, I love the fact that I am able to give students a voice. Uh, in society, oftentimes, we are told that teenagers don't have the right to speak up. So I do Lincoln Douglas debate, which is a debate focused around ethics and real world issues and like the way that intersects with philosophy and the way we interact with everyone around us. Once students gain this new knowledge and awareness, they're able to share it with their peers. I compete in interpretation, which is basically taking pieces from books and pieces of literature and performing them for an audience. People have gone into depth about depression and eating disorders and um, family neglect and abuse, which should, they don't really talk about in society because they're afraid of retaliation. But in a space like this, they're allowed to speak about it and they're allowed to put their own spit on it without having to fear of what others think. So it gives us a sense of responsibility because now we're gaining confidence and we're more of aware of what's going on, so we have better knowledge about it. So when we're taking our stance, we're able to put the best foot forward in order to not only win the debate, but create a sense of, okay, this is my belief, this is how I'm going to defend it, and this is what I'm going to do to help change the world. Participants at this tournament prove that for the best future, it is essential that future generations are taught how to speak out and be heard. This has been Isabel McCann reporting.